an adventure, a journey, an experience, a two-week trip. It starts off in Poland and after we go to Israel. During this time period, we try and make light and understand what happened between the years 1939 and 1945. We try to understand the atrocities of the Holocaust and actually see what happened. So we travel together, as a group, as a nation, to, to try to learn more. This is the March to Poland. We get to Poland, a beautiful place, but also a place where 2,930,000 Jews perished. We ran around the city trying to understand. We went to Jewish cemeteries to try and comprehend what Jewish life was like before the Holocaust. How there were poets, authors, rabbis, leaders, innovative thinkers, world changers before the war. And then we went on to looking at the last remnants of the ghetto, where Jews were forced into cramped living conditions and to be segregated from society. Conditions were really harsh. Many people died in the ghettos. But that isn't the only place where people perished. Concentration camps, Auschwitz, Birkenau, Belgic, Majdanek, Treblinka. We entered all of these camps as a group to try to understand. And in the, these, the, these camps we witnessed so much. We saw the gas pellets that were used in the gas chambers, glasses, talits, accessories used for the disabled people, dishes, suitcases, more gas, and more shoes. We saw the countless barracks that people were housed in at the time. Countless horrors day after day, and we tried as hard as we could even to grasp the concept that happened. And then there were the names. Lots and lots and lots of names. And memorials. Monuments established in dedication to the people who perished in those areas. And the gas chambers. We went to the places thousands of people went before us. Except that we had a chance to get out while well, they didn't. We went to the place where people were gassed during the war based on their nationality. We went to the crematorium where their bodies and their last living memories were eradicated. We went to the place where people were tortured and destroyed. We saw the mass graves where people were buried or cremated in bunches because the Nazis did not care enough to bury their victims individually. We go to realize the murders and dehumanization that went on during the Holocaust. We go that so we can be witnesses. We go that so we can remember. But with every darkness and every tragedy, there comes a glimmer of hope. We will not let their memory be forgotten. We gather as a group and bring life to the places that were once grim and desolate. We had ceremonies at each of the concentration camps and heard speeches from famous dignitaries. And we heard the survivors. At each of the camps, we heard from a survivor who survived the war so that they can help to try and understand and help explain to us what happened. We bring life to the camps by bringing survivors. The very people the Nazis didn't want to come and talk to us. So many survivors came to us to help bring life back and never let their memories die. And then there was the actual march. Around 10,000 people from over 40 different countries marched from Auschwitz I to Birkenau. We marched in silence, in rows of eight. We do this to commemorate the walk the Jews had to make during the Holocaust from Auschwitz to Birkenau in harsh conditions. When they walked to Birkenau, for the majority of the time, it was their death march, and they never lived past the camp. So we march, as the living, to never let their memories die out. And we did something that, unfortunately, the Jews in concentration camps were never able to do. We left. We left the concentration camps. Something that other people weren't able to do. This is why we march. To make sure that no one ever forgets. 
and then it is time to leave Poland. After a full week, we travel to Israel to try and experience and understand Jewish life after the Holocaust. And it was beautiful. We explored and saw the beautiful environment of Israel. We traveled all around and saw the scenics and sights and experienced the beautiful homeland of Israel that we were able to claim after World War II. We visited Jerusalem and went to the most holy place in Israel, the Western Wall. It helped us gain appreciation for our culture and heritage and how important it is to have a homeland because without one, we are separated and can become victimized. We are extremely happy to be in Israel. We did a lot of celebrating. Yom HaAtzmeud and other parties. All to celebrate our unity and us being able to be in Israel. And they got pretty crazy. And then we had a second March of Living. However, instead of it being like the previous march where we memorialized the dead, in this march we celebrated the living. We sung and danced when we walked because we were joyous that the Jewish race was not eradicated, and instead of being completely eradicated and wiped off the face of the earth like the Nazis planned, we claimed our Jewish homeland and state. We are now privileged to be free and liberated, unlike before. The walk went from the new city of Jerusalem to the western wall inside the old city. Through this, we proclaimed our Jewish heritage and that we shall stay united and always have a home. Then we went to Latrum, a memorial dedicated to soldiers who fought in wars for Israel. We remember that Israel did not come easy and we had to fight for it. Finally, in Latrun, on the last night of all of us together, we had a huge ceremony. We saw multiple performers for, with many different talents, anywhere from drumming, to singing, to dancing. We enjoyed our last night together. Israel was an extraordinary trip. We were able to visit Masada where the Jews fell thousands of years ago and committed suicide rather than face their enemies. We went and screamed, Masada shall never fall again into an abyss because we know what happens when our enemies take advantage of us and we must make, fight them instead of writing away to stay alive. And we went to the Dead Sea an iconic place in Israel, where we can just swim and relax for a bit. Overall, this trip was an extraordinary experience. Jews from all over the world traveled together to learn more about Israel and make sure we never forget. The bonds we formed were inseparable. The things we learned were unforgettable. And the impact of this trip was unquestionable. This is the March of the Living.